Hello and welcome to Craftanoon. I'm Miss Mary and I'm here at the Pacific Grove Public Library and today we're going to be making caramel apples with paper. Let's get crafting. Okay, I've got my uh, workspace ready um, for this craft. I'll need scissors, a pencil, uh, a craft stick, red paper and brown paper and since we're making caramel apples if you'd rather have a green apple you can have green construction paper um, and then of course the brown would be for the caramel so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the brown caramel paper and you're actually going to be doing uh, a tracing of your hand so you're just going to um, kind of spread out your fingers a little bit not too far so try to rep represent the caramel so Start from the back and just trace each finger. Okay, great. Um, it may be hard to see, but I have my handprint. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut. You can hear there's a lot of noise here at the library going on outside. Okay, so I'm, I have a thumb and almost one finger. nicer on the ears. Uh, let's see. There is another finger almost done. And the final fingers. Okay, great. So now I have my handprint. I'm going to set the rest of the paper aside to recycle. And then I'm going to take the red apple paper. And I have a pencil. And this time I'm just going to uh, freehand draw an apple. And as always, um, it doesn't need to be perfect. And there's always a way to make modifications. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna make this a little bit higher. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to just cut the apple shape from the red paper. And it just needs to dip a little bit at the top. Of course, um, you could always put this, uh, fold it a little bit in half to make it a little more symmetrical. And then a little divot at the bottom as well. Okay, I have an apple shape. I turned it over, I cannot see the pencil marking, so that's great. Um, so I want this side, but first I need to glue the craft stick to the bottom, and it should go right where that divot is. Okay, great, I got lots of glue. Okay. And the next part is just gluing on the caramel. And let's see, because the 
just want to want to make it look like the caramel is just kind of looping a little bit. And I'll just kind of arrange it however that's going to look. And I think um, I'll bring it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll look uh, like caramel. And I guess in this case, you can kind of see the dots. Let's see. Yeah, everyone will look a bit different because, of course, every hand is a bit different. Um, so I'm going to put glue on the fingers. And then I'm just going to lay it across. I'm going to lay it, I think we'll like, hope for the most like caramel. Whoops, uh-oh. I see I glued the wrong side. That's okay. I will just erase my pencil marking and no one will be the wiser. There we go. Okay, so now, I think maybe I'll put glue on the other side. Uh, let's see. So, and let's have, I think, just like that. Okay, I've got that, my caramel. And now I need to cut the rest of the handprint. And this is where the divot will come into play. Okay, so it matches with the tracing of the apple, and there is the caramel oozing down. Um, if you want to add sprinkles, you could. It's up to you. Well, I hope you had fun making this paper caramel apple, and I certainly did. Um, I hope to see you soon, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.